Hey everyone, how's it going? This is Doug, or When I'm Busy. And you guys are about to watch how to do uh, animation in Photoshop. It's going to be basic from what I've learned. There's only so much you can do. And uh, what I'm going to teach you guys today is how to take this basketball and make it bounce into the image and bounce its way out. And you're going to get this image from either searching a basketball on Google or getting the exact URL link from the description. And yeah, so the first thing that we're going to want to do is we're going to want to get rid of uh, the outsides. So we just want the basketball. So what we're going to do is duplicate this layer by dragging it down here or right clicking on it and going to duplicate layer. And then we're going to hide the first one and click on the copy that we made. Okay, then we're going to take this magic wand tool and click the white on the outside and click delete. And then uh, when you hit Control D, it gets rid of the uh, lines and the selections. And then whenever you uh, pick on this uh, pointer tool or move tool, you can actually move the basketball around and put it where you want it. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go to File, New, and you can name it whatever you want. Water. Whatever. And then you put it on uh, 1280 by 720. And I'm using that just because that's the YouTube uh, layout for a video. So that's the high quality layout. And uh, what we're going to do is click on the move tool and just drag it up to the top and put it right in here. So as you can see, you can move it around anywhere you want. You can take this background and you can change the color to make it whatever. But I'm just going to use a white one since we're going into just the basics. And the first thing I'm going to do is go up here to Window and click on uh, Animation. And what that does is it brings a timeline right here. You can either look from uh, the images or you can click down right here at this little box in the right hand corner. And it's like if you've ever used Sony Vegas, it's kind of like that. It's like the timeline. But the first thing we're going to do is we're going to click back to the image. And down here it says 10 seconds as you can see. So what that is is... Um, it's going to show you how much of uh, the image you want to see and how long. So for us, we just want, I'm going to put it over here and you can move it like this or by clicking on the um, the layer with the basketball, you can just click on it and uh, you can use the arrow keys to move it up, down, left, right, or you can just drag it around. So for us, what I want to do is I want to move it to a point where I don't even see the ball at all. And then you go down here to the time. And what we're going to do is put it on no delay. So when we do it on no delay, uh, once we move the ball to another uh, part of the image, it won't have any pauses. It'll just be a smooth flow. So what we're going to do now is by clicking this, we're going to hit this duplicate layer down here. And what that does is it moves the layer to right here. And what we do is take this ball and we just move it to about, we can go down to right here or anywhere you want. And by doing that, what it's going to do now is if you click right here and then click play, the ball moves. But as you can see, it's just really choppy. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on the uh, second one. And we're going to go down to this little button right here. And uh, what we're going to do is uh, there's previous frame or first frame. So what we're going to do is previous uh, frames. We're going to put five. And what that does is it makes it to where it's five pictures of the ball going all the way down. And just hit OK. So what that does is it spreads it out to where if you click on each image, it just makes the ball move down. Or you can click right here and click play, and the ball moves down. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go to the last image and hit duplicate. And then we're going to move the ball all the way to you know wherever you want. What we're going to do is put it right here so it bounces. And then we're going to hit that button again, and it's going to be the same settings and click OK. So as you can notice, when you do this, it's going to be uh, really repetitive, and uh, you know it just takes a little bit of time, but the outcome is pretty cool. So then we're going to duplicate this again. Then we're going to move the ball anywhere we want. Then we're going to go down to the same button again, and just click OK. And we're just going to keep doing that up until um, we're satisfied with what happens. So I'm going to do that, and now I'm just going to make the ball go to right here, and I'm actually going to use the uh, pointers on my D-pad. I call it a D-pad, we're not playing Xbox, my bad. 
So I just moved it out to the point where it's not in the image anymore. And we're going to click that button one last time. And so that looks good. And if you go down here to the timeline, what it does is um, when I play it, it's going to look kind of choppy. But what that's doing is here, let's stop that. As you can see right here, there's a blue line. And when you hit play, uh, as the video goes along, what it's doing is rendering it. So it renders all the way out to about right here. And if you just let it play through for the first time, it'll render all the way. And then the second time it goes around, it'll be smoother when you go over here. And continue. So now the video is pretty much rendered out. So you just hit play, and it's just bouncing. And sorry for if it still looks kind of laggy on my side because my computer is not as, you know, as great. So the processors are kind of bad. All right, once you have uh, played it through and it looks well and you want to save it, let's say you want to put this in a video. If you want to uh, render this, all you have to do is go to File, Export, Render Video. And then you can change it to the, the file name, where you want to save it. Um, you can go down to here and you can check what type of video you want it to be, MOV. A, uh, AVI, MPEG, all that stuff, and then you just hit render. And that's basically it for this tutorial. Um, like I like I learned and like I said in the beginning, you can't do much, uh, you know, with animation in Photoshop. From what I'm being told, you can't even rotate the image. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to uh, click right here, and you can see you can move it. And I wanted the ball to spin as it's rolling because it'd be more realistic. But once you hit enter, or the check mark up here, it just switches back. It doesn't change. So I might have to do more research to see if uh, the newer versions, such as CS5, which is what I'm using, is able to do that. But I learned a tutorial off of a man who is using a CS3 version. So yeah, that's basically it. Um, the only thing that you can do is actually uh, change the opacity. So let's say um, from right here, I want to, actually, let's make a better one. From right here, I want to make it to where the ball just fades away as it goes away. Now I'm going to click right here, and then click at the very end. And first, you hold shift and then click. So what that does is highlights all of them. And then you want to change the opacity to just whatever you want. Let's say 45, 46, 45. And then we're going to hit this button right here like we did earlier. So what that's going to do is it's just going to make the ball fade fade out as soon as it goes through. So let's see what that looks like. Boing, boing, fades away. That's pretty nice, all right? Well, my computer, it doesn't play as well, so um, if it looks kind of choppy, don't worry. You probably have a better computer than me, and it might look better. So thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like this video rate this video, do whatever you want to this video, post it wherever you want, Facebook, wherever you want. Um, subscribe for more tutorials and check out my Facebook page at uh, facebook.com slash when I'm busy. And usually I will post stuff on there before I actually upload anything to YouTube. If that sounds kind of weird, I know. I don't. I private my videos until they're processed all the way. And um, yeah, follow me on Twitter at when I'm busy for updates and if you have any feedback on for Twitter tweet at me and tell me what you want me to teach you and uh, yeah have a good day guys